So today we're talking about the Automotec AS7530 lift. Um, this lift is uh, one of the cheapest and smallest in the range of industrial lifts that they do. And uh, this is one of the reasons I think it is good for a home garage. My friend was worried I was going to die putting this car on a um, stand. So uh, eventually I was persuaded to get a lift. So that's why I got a lift. And hopefully it, it's sensible anyway because the resale value of the lift will be quite high even after quite considerable usage, I think. Um, so it's going to be worth it in the long run. Uh, it is... Uh, has lots of advantages over the other lifts. It's reasonably cheap. Uh, it's about £2,000 once you factor in uh, all the other equipment that you need, including a compressor and hydraulic fluids and oils, etc., and connectors. Um, so, yes, yeah, over £2,000 all in, um, plus delivery charges as well. Um, it's easy to install because uh, you don't have to dig a pit or use any big bolts to uh, secure it to the floor. Uh, technically it's portable, it has little wheels that you can trolley it around if you really want to. Um, I went for this lift, as I say, because I went for this lift because there are no joining parts on where the uh, car is. So especially with a rear engine car, where you're gonna have to drop the engine and the transmission in one go, ideally. Um, it uh, makes a lot of sense to not have any obstructions. Um, so this is one of the cheaper lifts that would allow you to do that. Uh, what else is good about the lift? It goes up to uh, about a metre high, um, but any higher I didn't need because uh, the car would hit the ceiling and uh, you know, the roof of the car would hit the ceiling of the garage if it went any higher. So it, for me it's a good thing that it doesn't go higher. Uh, the other reason I bought this sort of lift is the other type of lifts are like post lifts and they would be awkward to move around the garage and they would be awkward uh, because they would probably allow the lift to go too high and then hit the ceiling which you know, is obviously a bad thing and uh, I don't really want that. Um, and so, yeah, um, those are the really good things about this lift over other lifts. The only sort of smaller issues I have with this lift is the fact that the manual is really rubbish. It's very overcomplicated with circuit diagrams, a lot of safety information that I didn't need, but it really doesn't really tell you how to just connect the three components together, i.e. the lift, the compressor, and the uh, control unit. Um, the other issue I had was delivery. Uh, they sort of smashed the lift up, the delivery company, uh, but I did get some compensation from Automotec for that. Um, and the manual is so bad, uh, it'd be interesting to see if you can tell what I've done wrong with the lift, um, because I couldn't, and uh, it turns out I've uh, got the car on the wrong way around with the heavy bit at the wrong end. But uh, yeah, I can tell, there's nothing in the instructions tells you which end of the car needs to be at which end, or which way around the lift goes. So um, that is just uh, a bit annoying. All in all, I've been pretty uh, happy with the Automotec AS7530 lift. Uh, it is slightly mobile, so if you want to move it around your garage, it's got a lifting height of one meter, um, it has pneumatic safety locks, and it uh, really is suitable for home garage purposes. Uh, it's really great that I can just lift my car up and down to any height that I wish, between sort of zero and one meter, and uh, yeah, it's been really useful so far, so I'm very happy with it. Uh, the only thing to just bear in mind is that they don't, I don't think they sell directly to sort of um, home consumers like me uh, very often. So uh, I think it just, but it just means you need to communicate with them a bit when you uh, get the lift and uh, for the sort of installation purposes and then usage and maintenance therefore afterwards. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with it and it's a great addition to my garage.